Yeah, it's just complete and utter fucking cloudy skies here. So we have breaking news. Breaking news. Israel is now using, I repeat, now using poisonous gases, lethal gases on protesters. It is like a red smoke, and there was four kids that dropped dead instantly on the eastern wall. And there were two adults that later died of their wounds. So we got six dead so far, So and the death toll is counting. There's a lot of people that are sick right now, so they are, uh, they're doing anything in their power right now to keep the protesters back while they can figure out... All right, who's gonna who's gonna be the next who's gonna be the next leader? It's like basically a tie. It's like Netanyahu just if he won, he won by like a freaking contrary dude. He he barely just slipped by, and so they're gonna retally all the votes and all that kind of shit. But as as they're doing that, as they're sitting in their offices retallying their votes, meanwhile the IDF is using lethal gases on little kids and women. So it was a man, it was a woman, and it was like four little kids. That's what I heard. That's what I heard, and that's that's what I'm reporting on. I hate reporting on this kind of shit, but there you go. This is what they're using. This should be all over fucking Fox News, the lamestream fake news fucking media. I hate them, dude. So, but there you go. There's it's just crazy, you know. You got you got President Trump, you know, launching champ now. He just sent another champ down to Venezuela, so now Venezuela has no power again. I'm sure these people are just fucking thrilled to live in no fucking power day after day after day. You know, they even called the Russian specialist in. They called the Chinese special in. And it overloaded. Like, when the first champ came in, it blew the system, and then they tried to reboot it, and then when they tried to reboot the system, it was, the system was built in the 70s, and it had a hard time rebooting, and it went out again. It went on, and then went out again, and then as soon as they got it back on again, then they fucking knocked it out again. America knocked it out again. Now they got it back up again, and then they said, right, 30 days, you got 30 days, where you got, you got electricity for 30 days, then you got to go a few days without. So... Now, there's zero power. So, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. All I know is that they're doing another criminal investigation into it today. Russia is doing another investigation. Maduro is doing an investigation into it. They're already under an investigation. You know, I don't think they give a two-bit shit. So, I don't think Washington gives a crap. They just want that oil, boy. They want that oil. They want them diamonds. They want that gold. They don't give a fuck about the poor people they're doing. The people that don't have electricity. They're just making it worse on them, dude. Look what they're doing. Look what the United States of America is doing to these poor people down there. They barely have enough food or water to fucking eat or drink anything. Now they have no fucking electricity. No fucking heat. No AC. No nothing. No lights. No stores. No nothing. Now you got no businesses running. Because how the fuck could you? Because everything's down, dude. <sighs> Man. Really? Really, Trump? You really got to fuck that up, huh? So, anyway, I'm I, I'm just, you know, it, like I said, they said that Netanyahu's the winner. If, if it would have been Gantz, dude, it would have been way worse, dude. He probably would have done a flyby with a goddamn chem plane and fucking sprayed white phosphorus and the shit at the same time. So... I guess count your lucky fucking stars that as of, as they think right now, that's what RT News thinks, that's what Fox News thinks. Well, fuck, don't listen to Fox News. Fuck Fox News. I, I usually listen to RT. RT just said, nope, we're still waiting. They're still counting the ballots. So don't don't rule it out just yet, but I'm pretty, pretty fucking sure Netanyahu's going to take it again for the fifth consecutive time. Jesus Christ. So... The ruler, they're calling him the king now, King Netanyahu, King BB. So that's his name today as he's fucking dropping fucking poison on little kids. So hope he feels good for himself. So anyway, love y'all. <sighs> crazy, isn't it? All right, fucking crazy days.